My name is Brian Bernickel. Uh, I'm the medical director for the Center for Joint Replacement for Stedman Hopkins Clinic of the Carolina. I specialize in total joint replacement, um, specifically hip and knee replacement. Most of our hip and knee replacement are elderly uh, patients, um, but in current trends we find even younger and younger patients um, are developing arthritis. Uh, so we really see that patients of all ages are now getting hip and knee replacements. Most of my patients come from the region, particularly the southeastern United States, but we take care of patients that come from really all over. When I was growing up, I had an uncle who was a general practitioner, and he practiced in the days where, you know, he did everything. He did orthopedics, he delivered babies, and I would sit and I'd listen to his stories. And after hearing him year after year, I said, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to be in the position where I can take care of people, I can help people, no matter what their problem is. When I was in college, I happened to have a knee injury and had to have a knee arthroscopy. After I saw the knee arthroscopy, I saw what the orthopedic surgeon did. I said, that's what I want to do. So I'd already, by the time I was in, in college, I knew I wanted to go to medical school. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, I originally grew up on a farm in uh, Northeast Iowa. And I went to the University of Iowa for undergraduate and I already knew I wanted to go to medical school. Um, so I stayed in Iowa City and uh, went to the University of Iowa College of Medicine. From there, I was fortunate enough to go to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And that's where I did all of my, my orthopedic training, including my um, total hip and total knee training. Um, I then um, moved to South Carolina and practiced in South Carolina for a few years and then at that time was introduced to the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. And um, um, from then on, um, continued to specialize in, in hip and knee replacement and um, live in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. The vast number of, of joint replacements done in the United States as opposed to, to other countries really in general are done by orthopedic surgeons that don't specialize in for example, hip and knee replacement. I think if I was a patient, the person that I would want to do my hip or knee replacement is not somebody that really does a little bit of everything, but I want somebody who really specializes in that procedure. And that's kind of what we've done at Stedman Hawkins Clinic is we reach, each really have our own specialty that we really focus on and that I, that I think we do, um, we do a better job and we get better outcomes when we are specialized um, in, in particular procedures. When I explain the surgery process um, to a patient, number one, I want them to know what the potential benefits of the procedure are. I want them to know what the, particularly what the negative aspects of that procedure are, uh, including the risks of that procedure. So the patients really need to know, you know, what they're getting into it, and they need to know why they're doing this particular procedure. When people or patients from you know, outside this area, other parts of the country come and see the facilities where patients are having their surgery, um, where they're getting their physical therapy, where they're getting their, their after therapy, sports specific training. Um, they see the hospital, they see our offices. They really are going to know that they're getting kind of the latest and greatest um, technology. The other thing that I think is great about Stedman Hawkins Clinic is we're really focused on the, on the patient's outcomes. Well, how do, we, how do we do that? Well, number one is we need to base our treatment on research that's already been done, and a lot of the research, you know, is, is done right here. Um, we also really want and focus on um, the rehabilitation aspects. It's not just the surgery, it's the rehabilitation and the care after the surgery that's going to give the patients the best result. I've been very lucky uh, in um, my selection of wife. Uh, Chris is my wife who uh, we've now been married for 21 years. She's a uh, pediatric nurse practitioner, currently has three patients who are my three sons. Um, my son's um, evenings and our weekends are, are pretty much um, uh, taken up by, by soccer. Um, they travel really all around the United States playing soccer at a very competitive level. My sons and I are all very uh, interested in, in auto restoration. So we have uh, a 1948 Ford pickup that we've restored uh, together. 
Uh, now we're working on a 1940 Chevy uh, and we're looking at the next project at this time. The most rewarding thing about particularly my area of expertise is when you see a patient who, who comes into your office who can, you know, can barely walk, sometimes they're even, they're even in a wheelchair, and you do their surgery, you see those patients come back even at their, their three-week visit, and they're walking better than they did when they first came into your office. And it's a, it's a great feeling.